Once again, I'm out in the wild, backpacking. Unfortunately, my toe is messed up. Every time I like go forward on it, I don't even know anymore. It's just pain, just straight hardcore pain in my big toe. Nothing I can really do about it. So I'm gonna have a stroll real. Oh. I'll tell you what, it just sucks. It seems like every tiny thing, oh, I'm not gonna say everything, but oh, there's so many things that just injure you for no apparent reason. And you've just gotta adapt and deal with them. And this is one of those things along with my knees and my hips. Uh, we're just fingers crossed that it goes away. At least it's a nice day, kind of. Yeah. These little walks on your rest day do wonders for injury prevention. I'm not a good example of that, so. But trust me, do them. See, that's the, the dark cloud of destruction. And that's the nice blue skies of England. Okay, so we've ended up in some kind of giant cornfield. I don't really know where I am right now. It's a little bit scary. So let's get marching. Rest day marches, people. Who wants to see a big boring old field anyway? Who wants to see a big boring field anyway? Not me. Cool stuff, that way. While we're walking there, I'm actually going to talk about something. It's like a rest day discussion kind of thing. So hopefully you've got a good angle there. Uh, we're going to talk about how often you should be training uh, a week because so many people, they'll, they'll do all different kinds, four days a week, three days a week, you name it. And uh, ooh, something's in the bush there. Probably going to kill me in a bit. But yeah, I'm going to say, I mean, everyone's slightly different and how often they can train a week. Okay, and we came down this way, I think. And there's shit on the floor. Oh, See what I mean? Now there could be all kinds of creatures here, but I'm gonna, gonna ignore them for the moment. Uh, yeah, as a rough rule, you want at least one day a week. It's some horses. So we zoom in on those horses, we actually can't get to them. See, those are the rest day horses. Jesus, that one is ginormous. I don't know if you can see that van in the background, but he's actually bigger than the van. It's crazy. Okay, those were some cool horses. I'm gonna go back this way now. Cheek the gate. Okay. We figure out how to open this. We can. We're gonna be into the other field. For some reason that kind of hurt. Yeah. So let's talk about the training then. So everyone's gonna be slightly different and how quickly they can recover. Obviously the faster you can recover, the more times a week you can train, and the more muscle you can break down. You get me? So it's pretty simple. If you are struggling to recover, you're gonna feel fatigued. That's the number one sign. You're gonna feel weaker. You are probably, yeah, just gonna feel very fatigued and lethargic in your day-to-day -day life. Uh, that's the number one sign that you need to rest more. So don't push through that. Everyone's like, if you're having a shit day, push through it and keep working. Yes and no. If you really do train hard and then you have days where you do feel like shit, just rest, honestly. It will do you way more good than harm. You're not gonna lose muscle, you'll be building it. Uh, the recommended training is maximum six times a week, but anywhere between four to six is ideal. Some people need that four days a week with the extra three days rest just to recover because they 
Maybe their sleep's not good. Maybe their food's not good. Maybe their hydration's not good. Uh, those are the three things that will help you recover quickly. And obviously, if you're taking a lot of uh, performance enhancing drugs, then your recovery will also be better. So that will allow you to train even more, maybe even seven times a week if you wanted to. Uh, so yeah, don't feel like you have to train seven days a week or even six days a week and think you're getting outworked by the people that are because the truth is it can actually damage your performance and damage the amount of muscle you can put on so moral of the story is get your rest in really yeah i'm just going to finish up here and say that's enough of my rest day chats and nonsense uh, it's been a good walk, I feel refreshed and um, yeah, I'll see you on the next rest day because I'm three days on, one day off, you know the drill and uh, please like and subscribe. I'm going to keep having some chats on my rest days so I can talk to you without having to train and uh, I'll see you in the next one.